Um, I have gone through stages of depression. I've gone through stages of anxiety. When I was being harassed that first year, I would wake up every single morning with my heart pounding out of my chest because it was like, what lie is going to be said today? Oyibo husband don't contract Kurao. Left, right, front, and back. As in, con they advise other Oyibos, Americans, may they know ever, nya Nigerian women so. May they know ever, say they, they go marry any Nigerian woman. Say because they go come, eh, con take advantage of their system. As we both husband can explain, say he don't fall into depression for commas, for commas, for the past two years. Say because blocks them, they write fake things about him. Say if money reach uh, him wake, na so in heart go they do and kurukere kurukere, in BP go come high, he go come they think, waiting they go write about me today. So Justin then don't decide, say, he ain't go deal with all Nigerian people, so, supporting Kura, to bully him on social media. Oh, Ibo husband don't talk and say, he no go take him any longer, that he has been taking it for two years, but now he can't take it any longer. He said because few days ago eh, that he was so so angry how a foreigner coming to their country can they take advantage of their system can advise Americans so to learn their own lesson from waiting don't happen to him so say he no wish anybody oh, to pass through the pains he is passing at this moment all right so oh, listen to our Uibo husband. Say, oh, just ignore it. Stay silent. I've stayed silent for two years. I've been innocent of everything. I've stayed silent. And it's just the narrative just gets, keeps, keeps perpetuating. My mom is pissed. My mom's ready to, my mom's ready to go public with the truth. There are monsters in this world. That's what you guys need to know. Monsters. People that will hurt anyone to get ahead. I filed a police report. Those of you in London should be pissed. It's a complete waste of taxpayer resources. For the past 14 months, I have not been able to defend myself because of certain jurisdictional issues. Those, no, those are no longer in place. Now I can. Shit's about to hit the fan. And I'm tired of this stuff. It's like, come on, guys. Like, it's been two years. Can't find a new source of content. If I could just show you guys. <clears throat> These are all documented lies. From the horse's mouth. Like, <clears throat> Humpty Dumpty. I was gonna have a great fall, as legally speaking. But I, I didn't. I don't want any of this. I don't want to fight. I just want to move. Up. I just want to go into my life. But I get dragged into it. So what? I said some choice words. I was in an emotionally upset state because I was concerned about the paternity of my kid. Any man would freak out. The other all blaming me for something. It's ridiculous. If you watch what the toxic bloggers are saying, they've been planning this shit for months. Because they're like, they're gearing up towards it. They post fake text messages that I sent. They, they're constantly accusing me of things. Why? Because I am the truth. I'm a living proof of the truth and the lies. So therefore they have to discredit me. What I did in a previous lifetime to deserve all this. I don't know. I'm not... Perfect. Sometimes they say things in anger that I shouldn't, but that's kind of a normal human experience. But I treat people with love and respect, and all I want to do is make a meaningful impact on my life. Because I'm very good at what I do.
and I like to share it, and I like to help people out. I like to help, I like to spread my reach. Exactly. Green cards are not for sale. American citizens in here that are watching my story unfold, you should be pissed that a foreigner comes in here and takes advantage of the system and just pisses on America on a daily basis. Right. Harassing people on the internet is not a victim, it's crime. Um, I have gone through stages of depression. I have gone through stages of anxiety. When I was being harassed that first year, I would wake up every single morning with my heart pounding out of my chest because it was like, what lie is going to be said today? And I developed hypertension. Coming, Athena. I developed hypertension. My health really took a downward spiral. And I'm trying to... All you Africans, all you Nigerians that are out there just harassing, you should be ashamed of yourselves. You're embarrassing yourselves to the world. And I love Nigerian culture. I'm still a Kechiku. I still identify... I still, when I meet Nigerians, I still introduce myself as a Kechiku. And how far? I love Nigerian culture. I integrated it into my life. Like, it'll be part of my kid's life. But those of you out there perpetuating hate... You are an embarrassment to the country. Nigerian scammers are being perpetuated because of your guys' behavior. Start acting like citizens of the world and, and stop acting like the stereotypes that is your culture, that be, has been associated with your culture. I love Nigerian culture. I love Nigerian food. I love Nigerians. Like, just stop it. I understand I'm white. I'm a weeble. But you're embarrassing yourselves for the world to see. I'm out of here. I gotta go get the out of the high chair. Like, cyberbullying is not a victimless crime. Because there's people making all sorts of claims that I raped them, that I beat them, that I... All this stuff. Never once have the police came to my house. Never once have I ever even been questioned. Never once have I been convicted of a crime. Nothing. And yet it's being perpetuated all over the internet. And because they're running fake counts, I can't figure out who they are. So, justice for Justin. Because this has gone too far. Americans, stand up. Anyone that sees this shit, it's time, it's time to fight back because this is, this is not a victim of this crime. If I, if I took my own life tomorrow, which I won't because I'm not suicidal, it would be because of this stuff. I'm being harassed. I, my phone rings off the hook with people screaming at me. I have people coming and just harassing my office staff. I can't eat, like, everywhere. I'm being harassed everywhere. I get harassed on the street. I have people knocking on my door at 3 in the morning while my kids are sleeping in the other room with hoodies on. It's like it's becoming unsafe. So, like, I've been trying to stay silent because I've been trying to do things the right way, but this is getting out of control. I wish no ill will towards anyone. I do not wish anyone to suffer in this world. I don't wish any negativity. I wish everyone in what hell, including all my exes and any of any that I've had in my life. I don't hold grudges, but this shit has gotten too far. Hmm, I don't know where Kura could pick this Oibo husband from who. Not only him, Don Waka come on social media tell us he, he's leaving Kura. Not only him, don't come on social media Come show us his new girlfriend. Tell us say, he's out of the market. Now only him. Now when they come back again. Come tell us say, he don't fall into depression. So depression, how now? We think we make him fall into depression. He in the fall into depression because he in the CCA Kura is moving forward and forward and forward. He's just simply jealous of Kura. Because she's doing perfectly well for herself. Just maybe him be the think and say without him, Sekura no go maker. Or he was thinking that he would be able to frustrate Kura. But at the end, he wasn't able to achieve his plans. So that one even can't make him fall into depression. Otherwise, we still will make him fall into depression. When Nahin say he no go marry again. Kura back her load, find her way. And for that past two years, she never come out on social media or go introduce anybody as her boyfriend or as uh, somebody which she did date or won't marry. No. 
she keep everything about her personal life out of social media so i'm just trying to figure out exactly why this man they so jealous about her nobody say she don't introduce a man he go say ah now this one and i can't take care of my position no she never introduced any man on social media so what exactly is getting our oibo husband angry i just do not know and i know if you figure out her too i only the figure out say he's simply jealous of her success that is the only thing me i can see honestly eh could I really take a lot from this man but she never for one day speak up and if not for him also coming out on social media to drag her every time who for no still know the kind of person we him be for the look at say gentle Yibu husband not knowing say him be drama boy now wow I know say if we both people like you they don't like you I also know say if they don't hate you eh they don't hate you and they go hate even where you match leg but this one eh the ss he don't hate her finish today saying he can't even hate the social media where they see her so it's just so so funny anyway shana here and i may go drop this gossip feel free to share me your own thoughts in the comment section and thank you so much for watching